My name is Ayesh Patel, class 8th student of PMC Jawaharlal Nehru with Dalai Dungar. Today I am present here to explain the surface area of cuboid and cylinder. For the help of this model work. This model is guided by Mr. Asok Kumar Bisayan sir, PTT Maths. So, first I talk about, in our daily life we can see that many types of boxes are manufacturing in a factory. The shapes of these boxes are some of cuboid, some of cylindrical and some of other shapes. Let me take an example of cuboidal boxes. So, this is a thread box. See that? This is a thread box. The shape of this box is cuboidal. Let me take an, another example of uh, uh, cylindrical, cylindrical shape. So, uh, an example of cylindrical shape. This is a paint box. The shape, the, uh, the shape of this box is cylindrical. So, many students have doubt in their mind how these shapes are formed. Simply, by the help of this net diagrams, it is possible to make such boxes. So, uh, let me see two types of net diagram. First of we see the net diagram of cupboard. So, this is the net diagram of cupboard. With the help of thread, with the help of thread, when we pull out it, it, so, uh, it forms the shape of cupboard, like this. Let us know more about the cupboard. Cupboard has six faces, like this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Four faces are in rectangular shape, and two faces are in square, as uh, square shape as well as rectangular shape. It has eight vertices. Let me count this. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. It has 12 edges that are parallel to each other. Let me count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Okay. So, uh, cuboid has 3 dimensions. That is length, height and width. Angles are formed at the uh, base, uh, basis of the vertices of the cuboid are all of 90 degree. So, let me take an example for better understanding the surface area of cuboid. There are two students, Imran and Ria. They are painting the two different cuboidal boxes. And they try to, uh, they try to determine who has painted more area. Then, third friend Ram suggested them to find the surface area of this cuboidal boxes by finding the area of each faces and then add them. So, for the help of this net diagram, we find the uh, area of each faces and then add them. Let me do this. First of all, we find the area of first face that is length into height plus uh, area of second face length into breadth. Plus, area of third phase, length into height. Plus, area of fourth phase, length into breadth. Plus, area of fifth phase, height into breadth. Plus, area of sixth phase, breadth into height. All of them are added. So, the total surface of the cuboid is equal to 2 into square bracket, length into breadth, plus breadth into height, plus height into length. So, this is the total surface area of the cuboids. Second, we see the net diagram of cylinder. So, this is the net diagram of cylinder with the help of thread. Uh, with the help of thread, we, sorry, it also forms the shape of cylinder like this. Okay, so we, uh, let's know about more about the cylinder. A cylinder is a three-dimensional shape consisting of two parallel bases, two parallel bases joined uh, joined with the curved surface. The center of the uh, circular bases overlap each other to form a right cylinder, like this. Cylinder has some properties that differentiate it from the other shapes. Some of the properties of the cylinder are bases of the cylinder are always congruent and parallel to each other. And a cylinder has two flat faces which are identical to each other and one curved surface. So, 
we know uh, we know about uh, so let's go we know about the surface area of cylinder so how we find the surface area of cylinder with the help of this net diagram we find we also find the uh, uh, area of edge faces when we open this net diagram the two circular bases and this curved surface area is equals to the rectangular base when we pull when we rolled out the this form the curved curved surface so what is the area of circle pi r square okay so first first circular base is a, a, a parallel and congruent to second circular base so the area of this uh, circular base is are pi r square plus pi r square so we find the uh, area of this curved surface when we open it it forms a rectangular base so the uh, what is the area of rectangular rectangle length into breadth so the length of the uh, this rectangle is equal to the circumference of this circle so the length is equals to 2 pi r and the breadth of this uh, rectangular uh, rectangle rectangular base is equal to the height of this cylinder so the area of this uh, rectangular base is 2 pi i r h all of them are added pi r square plus 2 pi r h plus pi r square so the area of so the total so, total surface area of this cylinder is 2 pi r r bracket r plus h so for the help of this net net the diagram model work we find the surface area of cuboid and cylinder thank you